Hello, it's Rachel and today I'm creating an art journal page and working in my Prima mixed media book and this is a page that I had previously worked on and then decided that I didn't like it very much so I've used some gesso to paint over that and then for my base coats I'm using a mixture of Americana and Dilutions acrylic paint. Next I'm taking a background stamp by Stampatique and I'm stamping this onto the page using some archival ink in the colour Magenta Hue. Now I'm going to add some stenciling, for this I've chosen a Tim Holtz mini stencil and again I'm using archival ink, this time in the colour violet, I'm applying it using some Ranger cut and dry foam. For the focal images on the page I've chosen to use some hearts and these are going to be stamped onto a purple background which I'm creating here using some lightweight cardstock and some diluted Lumiere paint in violet. The heart stamp I'm using here is by Paperbag Studios. After the hearts have dried I cut them out and attach them to my page using some golden matte medium. To create some contrast against the bright colours that I've laid down on the page I'm taking some gesso with another Tim Holtz stencil this time of some distressed circles and I'm sponging this onto the page using some Ranger cut and dry foam. This is a pan pastel in the colour magenta and I'm going to use this to outline the hearts. I'm applying the pastel using the pan pastel tools. This is going to make the hearts stand out more against the busyness of the page. To add some text onto my page I've chosen a stamp set called Duality from Tracy Bunkers on Etsy. I'm stamping this using some archive link in jet black and as you can see I've stamped out my text in advance to ensure that it fits onto the page. Now 
Now I'm taking a Posca paint pen in black. I'm going to use this to create a border around the page and also to darken the ink on the stamped letters. Later on in the project, I also go around the hearts to give them more depth and definition also. Now I'm going to create some more hearts to add to the page, this time I'm using some lightweight cardstock with a third Tim Holtz stencil and some Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste, this colour is Antique Rose. I'm applying it onto the lightweight paper using a spatula and once this has dried I cut out the hearts that I want so that I can place them exactly and I apply them to my page using some golden matte medium. As a final step on today's page, I'm going around the border with some pan pastels, this time I'm using both violet and magenta. That is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, then I do appreciate it if you hit the like button or leave me a comment. As always, you're going to find a full product list in the video description. And if you're interested, you'll also find my social media links there too.